so here we are here's the beast just about to set off all packed up I think hopefully I think we're good to go right here goes nothing see you later So I thought I'd just give you a little overview of why I'm doing the trip. So basically the trip is going to be three days long. So I'm starting in Portsmouth. I'll be going up to Cheddar Gorge first. So that'll be the first place. Um, along to Linton. And then from Linton, around the coast to Croyd. Down to Devon. Well, sorry, down to Dartmoor. Uh, spend a night there camping and then uh, and then head back up so that is the plan we're basically just leaving my neck of the woods which is uh, sort of Denmead Hambledon um, weather's looking nice uh, it was completely overcast earlier um, really muggy it's really muggy uh, it's probably about 20 something degrees um, but humidity is up at about 80 or something percent so uh, it's getting pretty muggy SSR 700 Yamaha obviously done a few bits and bobs to it I think it's looking pretty sweet now so uh, well, I guess I'll just go over one by one so front end obviously I've got the uh, the dark fly screen on there and uh, yeah it doesn't really do much thinking of taking it off soon I've actually got a new headlight coming so uh, I'll be, um, be replacing that with a slightly thinner one, uh, smaller brackets, so I don't think the um, that screen will fit anyway. Uh, got the gaiters from uh, JVB Moto. Uh, they're pretty mean looking. I've uh, got these fork covers off of the MT-07. Um, radiator guards from Yamaha. Uh, I've got these, I don't know if you can see, uh, these um, leather grips from Trip Machine Company. Uh, they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant, 20 odd quid, real leather, stick them on, look fantastic. Uh, bar end mirrors, just cheapy ones off eBay, same with the uh, levers, cheapy ones off eBay. Got my little Zippo case on the front there, because they've got this god awful headlight bracket that, um, I don't know why it was so big and chunky and horrible, but uh, it seemed to have a hole right in the middle, perfect for me Zippo pouch, so that's awesome. Same bike being chased by a police bike again. <laughs> Very weird. Uh, so what else have we got? You might have seen oh, the Olin suspension, and bloody hell, it's amazing. I had it resprung. I'm quite a small guy who about 65 kilos without uh, gear on, and bikes are always sprung for people who are about sort of 80 90 kilos so the springs lighter so it's perfect for me and the uh, and the shock it's adjustable damping so every bump it resets perfectly you feel like you're floating on a cloud I'd recommend it to anyone what else have we got so panniers givy panniers um, with the rack specifically for the MT-07 well for the uh, XSR sorry it's uh, yeah in case you don't know this is pretty much an MT-07 just made to look retro oh yeah of course got the Acropovic exhaust system on there sounds bloody beautiful let me fire it up and see if I can give you a sound check might not sound great I think it sounds bloody good bloody good I think that's about it 
I think of anything else, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I'll, my camping stuff, I won't go through that just yet because I'll be doing that at each place. Um, but yeah, I'll probably hit the road in a second. Uh, give you a little rundown of the places I'm staying. All right, in a bit. pay for this then. this route a couple of weeks ago it was uh, supposed to be a beautiful sunshine for the whole time no nothing then it was severe weather warnings for thunderstorms and rain so I moved it now it's severe wind warnings you just can't bloody win can you but there we go so I've just stopped off for a little bit of lunch I've uh, been driving for about 70 miles so not a lot but um, it's been a couple of hours because I've taken some back roads and things like that so uh, I've got another two hours or so driving yet it should be Cheddar Gorge and then straight from Cheddar Gorge we'll go to the uh, the Bothy going to explain a little bit about uh, where I'm going to be staying tonight. I'm going to be staying in a place called Linton which is North Devon. It is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's near a lighthouse um, so it's right right on the coast. If you were to look at the coast of Devon there's a little tiny point um, by Linton and uh, if you go on to that little tiny point there's a lighthouse and this bothy and that's about it. Um, so absolutely in the middle of nowhere and that is ideal probably won't have any signal or anything like that but that's not what we're there for so uh, i'm hoping i will get there by about six um six o'clock anyway uh, i've done enough talking for now so i am gonna cut this and uh cut for a little bit of us going through cheddar gorge well, I might have a few words on the way to the boffy, but it'll probably be the boffy. Anyway, right, I'll get on with it. So, uh, in a bit.
thought I'd just uh, give some commentary here. Bloody hell, what a beautiful place. I hope this camera is doing this justice, because this is amazing. Not sure why I've never been here before, but bloody hell. As you can see, I'm not taking it too fast, but that's not the point. The point is, it's bloody gorgeous. Well, that was a lovely place. I would stop for a coffee, but uh, I've got to make up some time because I was a bit lazy earlier. Looks like I've hit rush hour. Great. Hopefully this won't last for too long, because this is shit. There we go. So, I've made it to the coast. I didn't quite record in time to, uh, to get it popping out around the corner, uh, how I saw it, but uh, here we go. There it is. Lovely. So, I don't know what's going on, with the weather, or the temperature, or the predictions, or whatever. Oh, I might be up a hill or something, but wow, it is cold. Just checked the uh, the weather and it says it, it's 18 degrees and feels like 18 degrees. No, it bloody doesn't. It feels like about five degrees. So I'm not sure if I'm just in some little trap. Uh, it looks like it's been raining here as well, so that could have cooled the air down. Um, trying to be a bit careful because uh, obviously where the rain's come down it's just left a tiny little layer on the uh, on the road and it is slick proper slick uh, especially under these trees areas but uh, I've got a feeling that it's not going to be quite as pleasant and as warm as I thought it was going to be I am absolutely freezing And uh, before I check out, look at the view. Lovely. Thank you. 
it was like fine 10 seconds ago. I'm literally, I could have the wind hold me up here. And this is where I'm staying. So let's pop the bike here. I might move the bike later, but I just want to get some pictures and stuff. And here we are. Look at this place, hey? Not bad. Not bad at all. Too windy, but not bad. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. 